Good afternoon, today I'll continue to be talking about the coronavirus and the latest updates. So the first thing that I would like to say is that represent, Representative Mario diaz Ballard of Florida is the first member of Congress to test positive for the coronavirus. He was recently on the House floor as early as Saturday morning voting with fellow members. But in a statement, he said that he had begun to develop symptoms later Saturday and receive a positive test result on Friday. While he's saying that he's feeling much better, it is important that everyone should take extreme, take the situation extremely seriously, as every member of Congress could potentially have the virus. Several members of of Congress have said they were in self-quarantine after interacting with people who tested positive, including Senator Ted Cruz of Texas, Representative Paul Goser of Arizona, and Representative Matt Gates of Florida, all Republicans. This is extremely dangerous because if they are all Republicans who have had the virus, who ha or is test tested positive for the virus, this could mean that the entire Senate, the entire Senate floor could be, the entire Congress could be affected, and Republicans, many, some Republicans could die, and this could be a hit to the Republican Party. The second thing I would like to talk about is that uh, the Senate has approved paid sick leave, free testing, and other benefits. So the relief package that I've talked about before in previous videos, which was approved by the House, is approved by the Senate today to and this will provide sick leave, unemployment benefits, free coronavirus testing, and food and medical aid to people affected by the pandemic. President Trump is expected to sign it and lawmakers in the White House are already drafting another economic stabilization package that would send direct payments to taxpayers and loans to businesses. Basically, I think the package is five hundred billion dollars for two check paychecks to every American in the United States and and currently the the new package is calling for a total of one one trillion in spending fifty billion for secured loans for the airline industry and a hundred and fifty billion for another for secured loans or loan guarantees of for other parts of the economy. It also allowed the Exchange Stabilization Fund, an emergency reserve account that is usually used for currency market interventions, to be tapped over these costs. Basically, President Trump is trying to save the United States from an almost certain economic recession by basically trying to keep, trying to give people money when their jobs are most certainly going to be lost because of the coronavirus. And he's also trying to basically just keep the economy afloat at a time when it's crashing really, really badly. So, President Trump also invokes the Defense Production Act. Basically, you know, the U.S. currently is running out of vital equipment such as ventilators, which are extremely vital for the patient's lungs to help to help it breathe. And President Trump is invoking action by sending military hospital ships to New York and the West Coast, but it will be a long time before they will actually arrive. And another thing is that President Trump has said that the Federal Emergency Management Agency has been acted at, at the highest level, and he's directing the Department of Housing and Urban Development to put a temporary moratorium on evictions. Basically, what he what this means is that if a rent cannot if a renter cannot pay rent, the owner of the house cannot cannot send the renter away because well evictions are evictions can occur now. <clears throat> He's also saying that he will begin to ha have a federal plan to warn that the shortages of medical supplies like protective gear and pharmaceuticals could occur impacting healthcare, emergency services, and other climates of critical infrastructure. So all of the hospitals around the country are warning of critical shortage of supplies. Uh, that's it. Thank you for listening, and I hope you have a good night.